Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Krompiatek from Koliak Knisius. In this tutorial we will go over alternative text, also known as alt text, in Google Docs and some tips to help you with your alt text. Alt text is nearly always associated with imagery on a web page, but can also be used with images on text documents. It is used to describe the image to users and is especially useful if the image is blurry and for users with screen readers. Note that the process we are about to go through works for Google Slides and some other Google Drive products as well. Let's get started. Go to your Google Docs document with an image in it. I already have one open here. From there, right click on the image that you want to add alt text to. Then, in the menu that appears, click on alt text. Or if you find that this is an issue, click on the image, then use the Windows shortcut Control Alt Y or the Mac shortcut Command Alt Y to get to the alt text dialog. The image title is optional but can be useful for quickly identifying the image later. Type your alt text in the description box. Alt text should be full sentences but also be short and descriptive. If you find that a concise sentence is not forthcoming or easy, then you may want to use a caption. Or you can do what many textbooks do. Refer to the image, which they have also titled and captioned, and explain what the image represents. In that case, however, you may want to reconsider if you need the image at all. When you are done adding your alt text, click on OK in the bottom right corner. Next, I will go ahead and add another image that won't have alt text on it. Additionally, I will add some text to give some variety. Let's see what a screen reader will do with this. Image unselected alt text title colon, grew meme alt text description colon, grew evil master plan meme about alt dash text not being on an image. Image selected an excerpt from the article image alt text colon, what it is, how to write it, and why it matters to CO by Braden Becker colon, bullet describe the image, and be specific. Use both the image's subject and context to guide you. Bullet add context that relates to the topic of the page. If the image doesn't feature a recognizable place or person, then add context based on the content of the page. For example, the alt text for a stock image of a person typing on a computer could be quote woman optimizing WordPress website for CO quote or quote woman researching free blogging platforms, quote depending on the topic of the web page. Bullet keep your alt text fewer than 125 characters. Screen dash reading tools typically stop reading alt text at this point, cutting off long dash winded alt text at awkward moments when verbalizing this description for the visually impaired. Bullet don't start alt text with quote picture of, quote or quote image of, quote jump right into the image's description. Screen dash reading tools left paren, and Google, for that matter right paren, will identify it as an image from the article's HTML source code. Bullet review for spelling errors. Misspelled words in image alt text could hurt the user experience or confuse search engines crawling your site. You should review alt text like you would any other content on the page. Bullet don't add alt text to every image. You should add alt text to most images on a web page for the sake of CO, UX, and accessibility M- however, there are exceptions. Images that are purely decorative or are described in text nearby, for example, should have an empty alt attribute. For a more detailed breakdown of when to add alt text and when to not, Check out this decision tree. Unselect As you just heard, the screen reader picked up and read the alt text for the first image. However, while the screen reader recognized there was a second image, it was unable to describe it to the user. This can be very problematic for students that use screen readers if the image is more than just decorative. Unfortunately, unlike Microsoft Word, you cannot simply download your document as PDF and have the alternative text work. For that, you will need to download it as a Word file first add your alternative text in Word, and then export the Word file as PDF. This process is explained in depth in the video linked in the description. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at helpdesk at Thanks for watching and have a great rest of the day.